Hey there, in this video I wanted to go over um, how do you graph a system of inequalities. So here I have this. Uh, this is my paper. It's blank. How do I graph a system of inequalities? Well, the key part would be to get it to y equals. And I had that in my other videos, instructional videos, doing it by hand. So I would look for that, um, how to get into y equals and how to graph it by hand. But say you're completely stumped. Um, Here's how you do it in the graphing calculator. So a point thing to note right before I go over to the graph calculator is everything here is going from negative 5 to 5. So I'm going to want to size my window to negative 5 to 5. So over here, I went to menu, I went to window zoom, window settings, and went negative 5 to 5. I made sure my scale is at 1. That means each tick mark is, is counting by 1. See, so negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Um, so that changes my window settings. Now, how do I get the little grid marks on? You're going to want to go to view, grid, and line grid. That might help you draw things by hand because if it's in Y equals, you could be, you could hit control T and then it pull up a table and the table would help you graph. But, um, it doesn't do that unless it's in y equals. Since it's an inequality, I guess I could say y n equals. But look, you can see it hits through negative 2 on the y-axis and then goes up 1 over 1. And so being able to do that kind of would help me graph it by hand. I see that it makes a dashed line and the shading is going down. This one makes a dashed line and the shading is going above it. And see I have a, a y-intercept of 2 and it looks like this one's going down 1 over 3. And that would be the pattern for this one. Um, yeah, so this one has a positive slope of up 1 over 1. This one has a negative slope of negative 1 over 3. Um, so, yeah, I would just kind of like try and copy that graph the best I could. Using those grid lines, that made it a lot easier to read on this. And then I see where the shading goes. I see that this is the overlapping of the shading area. And that's pretty much it. Now, I just realized I kind of glossed over how did I get these to type in there? So what you do is you need to type in it with the relation. So I don't know how to change a relation back to a function, but this is like the default right here. When you hit delete, you can type in something, and this is if it's already in y equals form. Now, if it's not, just go to relation and then just type in whatever you want. So these were not in y equals or y n equals form. And uh, even if you end up using one of those y equals ones, it, it just, the next time you type something in, it'll say relation anyway. So, um, yeah, that's how you would type it in. Um, control equals over here pulls up the little menu of inequality signs. Okay. And um, that's how you would graph it. Okay. Bye.